mute your mic, please. So as not to disturb, you know, others. European master in lexicography, also in German, can be described as European master in lexicography. It's an opportunity to study abroad with a full scholarship. I know you must have heard about, you know, uh, programs funded by Erasmus Mundus in times past, but this is kind of different. But this is kind of different. It's Erasmus Mundus sponsored, but I must tell you that it's just very different, very, very different in that you will learn a lot, you will experience a lot, discover cultures, and it's just so rich. So in my presentation, I would like to tell you what a joint degree means, because that was exactly what I did. A joint degree that allows you to you know, travel to different countries and also get certified. Like you earn more than one master certificate. You know, it's just so, so rich. So that's what a joint degree is called and it's really recognized by many international bodies. The basic information that you need to know how the study is structured. I will talk about the scholarship and the prerequisite, what and what you need to have before you apply. Virtually everyone, you know, that is language inclined can apply for this program. And then after life, after your master's degree, what are the opportunities that you have? I mean, in terms of employment prospects. So what is an Erasmus Mundus Joint Master's Degree? It is an integrated international study program taught jointly by an international consortium of higher education institutions. That is more than one university come together. Like it's like up to five countries for some courses, eight, six as the case may be, they come together to, to you know, do a program like, <laughs> Something I can relate to this with in Nigerian system is, let's say, um, the study of German as a foreign language in Nigeria now, let's say OAU comes, to, OAU, UHA, UNN come together, you know, helping students. So you study one year, a semester or a year, year, and go to another location to study. All, all expenses covered, you know, the the program, the European Union will pay your school fees for the university that's hosting you, take care of your, you know, travel costs, pay installation costs too. They give you money for traveling to install yourself in your new location. And upon completing the program of study, the student obtains either a joint diploma, and this is a single diploma issued by at least two higher education institutions in the consortium of several degrees. For my case, I will be having two master's certificates. One by the one from the University, University de Lorraine, my home university here in France. Then the other one signed by like eight universities, South Africa, Germany, and other countries of the world, certifying that I'm a master in European lexicography. And when I talk about us in Europe, that is not to say that I can only work in Europe. No, it, can, it is really international. And I tell you, no regret. So for AM Lex, a diploma from the home university and a certificate signed by the rectors of all the participating universities. So it's like, you know, doing two masters, you, you spend two years, and then you get two master certificates. For instance, the title on my um, diploma, the diploma I got from this university in France, the title is different. They wrote something like um, master's degree in linguistic, let, humanities and stuff. The one that will come from AM Lex, we have MA lexicography. So that is if you apply for a job and they need, let's say master's or in linguistics, so you know, the certificate to submit, and then they want another one. So you are just so rich. And it also depends on, on the university that's hosting you. Let's say your home university is in Germany. They will look for 
like a course title that suits your lexicography. It could be uh, your diploma may have the title of, let's say, MA in, let's say, international relations because you travel a lot. MA in tourism, MA. So you have two certificates within two years. It's so, so all encompassing. So, two, what is this program about? About, don't forget, E M L E X I stand for European Master in Lexicography. And this program promotes international interdisciplinary training on lexicography. Lexicography has to do with dictionary making, how you how we compile dictionary, edit dictionary, you know, publish dictionary, anything that has to do with dictionary. If you are if you are a good use of dictionary, you observe that English of 2010 is different from the English you speak now. Like you heard it, like as language is changing, you also just like you know, we have pandemic, we are in period of pandemic now, we have more vocabularies. Some vocabulary that have not been used less than 10 years ago are now in use now. Pandemic, everybody understands what pandemic means. If you say lockdown, you know, you have different meanings for that now. So what again mask and many so this as this the languages change and so dictionaries have to be updated. So these are the things that lexicography does. So the international study makes participants to be able to work in both publishing houses and academia. For instance, you may decide to work in publishing houses like Oxford Dictionary, Gruden Dictionary Pons. Um, Further dictionary again, Miriam Webster. So you have opportunities. You can also decide to go back to the to the university to work in the academia. You can also be you can also work with Ministry of let's say foreign affairs, traveling, you can you can own an agency for traveling and tourism. So anything that has to do with um international um that has to do with international encounter languages, cultural cultural stuff, you, you are well able to do them. It offers an, an attractive and international course in conjunction with eight universities. Brings together students from different countries. Students come from all around the world. That is to say, you're not partial about, you know, oh, you're English. No, 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 no. We want every language to have a good dictionary. Every language is important. Every dialect is important. And these languages, they need documentation. These languages, they need reference material for people to look at, to learn, to you know, to look up to. So for my class, when I arrived, I discovered that I'm the only one from Nigeria. I'm the only one from Africa. Others are from Brazil, you know, Germany. And I was like, do you have a German? No, people just come from all around the world. And it's, it's odd that I'm the only black and I'm the only African. If you, I think that basically the reason is that people don't have information that you can come here and do these stuffs. You can come here and um, do, 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 do. these programs bring students from all over the world. So as a graduate, I do me fit to enlighten my fellow Nigerians, you know, students of foreign languages, students from other disciplines. You don't have to, you know, um, be in the faculty of heart, let's say, to, to apply for this program. You don't have to. So I continue. So this seeks to teach theories in an inter interdisciplinary way, showing its application in practice and encouraging scientific research in the area of lexicography. I want to try to see everyone for a It's like a seminar. Yeah. 
Please mute yourself. Thank you. Techno Spark Five Pro, please mute yourself. I think it's way, way better now. I continue. As I said, um, still on this, eight universities come together for this program. Eight universities come together to teach you. You, you find um, professors. So if you have anything to say, just put it in the comment section. I've met everybody. I've met everybody. Germany, South Africa, Spain, France, Hungary, Italy, Poland, and Portugal. In addition to partner institutions worldwide, including Brazil, United States, and Canada. These are the participating universities. In Germany, we have FRU. In Budapest, in Hungary, we have this Calorie Gaspar, the formato. So in Poland, we have this. Université de Lorraine, this is um, in France, where I am currently. This is in Braga. This is Rome. Um, yeah, the next one is uh, Spain. This is South Africa. And this is also in Germany. So you can choose these universities for your, you know, for your third semester, for instance. And these are um, partner institutions, like the the the, the partner with um, EMLEX to host students for internship, for job op no in they part, just like this participating universities, the difference is that they are not going to issue certificates, you know, of a diploma for you except to do an in internship there. So while studying too, you will get to meet professors from these institutions. We have IDS Institute for Deutsche Sprache in Mannheim, Germany, University of Texas at Austin in USA. This is Brazil, Tbilisi. Tbilisi in Georgia, Gottingen Academy of Sciences and Humanities also in Germany. So you are going to like, you. it's just so rich that you meet many people, you get to meet professors with international rating. When you resume, the languages of instruction are German and English. That is to say, before you leave your home country, you should be able to speak German and English. Yes. And these languages have to be certified. You don't just tell me, oh, I, I speak Deutsch, no? What is your proof? Show me a language certificate. Also English. So I've had testimonies of people who intentionally studied German just to apply for this program. You know, let's say they did something like informatics in the university. But because of this program, they went to a language school to study German, to learn German, to learn these languages. You know, before I left Nigeria too, I attempted, since when I was in part one, I graduated from Obafemi Law University, BA German. I, since part one, I used to go to Gothe Institute to, you know, to attempt these professional courses. I started with A2. Then I wrote B1, B1 gave me a lot of problems. I wrote B1 up to four times before I cleared all the papers. Then I took B2 during year abroad. Then when I was in final year, I attempted C1 and I passed. So you need this certificate. You also need English. Before I came down here too, I certified my English. 
you know, yeah, we speak English in Nigeria and all, but you know, when you talk of scholarship, you know it's competitive and you should always do something that will give you an edge, go the extra mile, certify all your, you know, the competences, the skills you say you have, it is good to certify them, certify them. So I took TOEFL, test of English as foreign language. I took it before coming. So when you resume this semester, we, we have four semesters, you know, and everything is within two years, maximum of 24 months. All the program usually start in winter semester of each year, let's say from September. France, for instance, think the winter semester is usually in um, September. Other universities, let's say um, Germany now, they could start theirs in October, but all is winter. You know, winter starts from about September, October and the rest. So it depend, depending on your whole host university, for me, we started in September. Application with scholarship. Why I'm doing this right now is because school, I mean, um, applications are ongoing right now. They are taking and they are ready to welcome many applications. And I want Africans, I want Nigerians, I want my people to be among the people, to be among the ones that will be lucky this time. So for this intake, the deadline for scholarship, you know, for those who want to apply for scholarship, because it's it's also possible to you know, apply for the program and you pay for yourself. You know, not everybody you meet in the class has scholarship holders, but for those who would like to apply for the scholarship, the deadline for application is 1st of March, 2021, like in less than a month. So apply and then the website, just keep going the European Master Lexicography on Google. You no, know, check, update, update, update. Another intake with tone with tone start in let's say December or November or September. Work towards that too. If you're unable to meet up with this, let's say your German level is not enough, your English proficiency you know, is not enough, because those are the two major requirements. Because your the languages of instruction when you resume will be English and German. You know, it's international. You don't expect these teachers to, you know come to your to speak pidgin or pidgin english or your uh, local language these two these two um languages are what will be used to teach you and duration of program is four semesters application without scholarship according to the calendar of each participating university that is if you if you still want to go ahead to study European Master in Lexicography without scholarship, you are welcome. So you are not bound by this you know, deadline here. How the study is structured? First semester is your home university. During your application, you will be asked to choose a home university. This is this is vulnerable to change like they could they could change it for you and if you're lucky you will be granted you know for me i chose german i chose germany as my home university university no friedrich alexander university yes in in um elangen i chose that but it was not granted i was given france and for a place like Germany, you should know why I, studied, I chose Germany because I studied German in the university in Nigeria. And I thought, you know, it will help me to be closer to the Germans, to, you know, leave the Germany I wanted to leave. You know. But I was, I was given uh, France, no regrets. I still traveled to Germany. I, I lived there for a while. And like Germany is just a neighboring country. So you can travel by bus or by train. It's not far at all. So first semester, you'll be told to choose, but sometimes they change it. For instance, let's say most of the people that applied, you know, you know, studied BA German like me from their home country. You can guess that all of us will want to choose Germany and it will be unfair for them to, you know, to have loads of students in a particular location while other, you know, other host universities suffer. So they have to, they have to you know, distribute, they have to 
let's say four by four, two by two, four people go here, three go here, four go here. You get why. No. So students are sent to their home universities and take part in one site courses in German and English related to linguistics, lexicography. So in your first semester, you're going to do online courses and you're going to do classroom courses too. That is, you will be, you know, you will be registered, enrolled in the home university as their student. So you so like now you can call me a graduate of Université de Lorraine, no C France, because this is my home university. So I have a master's degree from this university, apart from the Erasmus scholarship. I mean, apart from the EMLEX, you know, um, scholarship um, diploma I have. So, and during this time, the ones you do in classroom setting and a bit of online, that's, that's um, for the university and the online ones are for EMLEX. So you do things like phraseology, corpus linguistics, introduction to lexicography and stuff. You do terminology too, because when you talk of termino terminology, it's also like a part of um, lexicography. In parallel to the face-to-face -face classes, students complete a joint distance courses with fellow EMLEX students. So there's a portal for us. You know, you have a login details. You meet with your other colleagues, your professors from, you know, these eight universities I talked about will put assignment to put lecture notes there. You study, you watch videos, you answer questions. So as you are doing physical classroom work in your home university, you're also doing online EMLEX studies program. You may think, oh, these are much, it will be too, but no, because I must tell you that as you're studying, you're also going to have a lot of fun your hosting your university, I mean, the professor that's hosting you, like your reference person, coordinator in your university will take care of you. You know, we organize, get together from time to time, ask you questions, what are the things bothering your mind and how she can help you and stuff like that. Also, there will be, let's say, frequent travels. You know, you travel to, let's say, Paris one weekend, you go to Strasbourg, you go to, you know, just enjoy. And then after the break, you come back and face the work. So it, this makes the, you know, makes academic work enjoyable. So don't see it as, oh, I will do online course, I will do classroom work. It is, it is not too much. It is not too much. So all this, all this are to give students the theoretical basis for of lexicography in English and German. In addition, in the first semester, students take language courses, English, German. Look, for me, when I came here in, in France, Erasmus models paid for language course for me. And you could choose, you could choose, you know, for me, I chose um, uh, French. And then I did some I did some Italian too, I think. French was easy for me because, you know, I was language inclined before I left home. I was at a language place at the time working there so I could pick up some French. And so it was so, so, it was so, so, so easy for me to integrate. And even if you come here, raw, 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 your home university will still take good care of you. Let's say you are, your home university is in is Portugal. Most Portuguese people don't speak English. Most of them, yes, because I live there. So your pro Erasmus models, you also pay for a language course that will take care of you. In fact, in Portugal, you can choose more than you can choose more than one language. Erasmus will take good care of you. So no fear, just come with English and German. Your host university, the, the Erasmus models will take care of how you will learn the local language of your host country. So for me, this was my first semester. This is how it looked like. It doesn't even look as if we are really studying hard. Yet we studied, we studied. This is my coordinator's house. So she used to organize events for us, get together, eat today, go to museum. This was in Strasbourg. This was our, um, I think somewhere in the lab, we had a meeting. So here, so dictionary works and all. Then you go out for a ride for, it's just so, so rich. For people that are choosing France as their own university, this is how the university looks like. And this is 
the laboratory that we host you, like labs where you work on dictionaries and all. So second semester, students from all universities are in a single country. And what are they doing there? They spend the semester together. This semester is a deepening of the basis received at a distance in the first semester. You know, I told you that in the first semester, you do some online course, you meet your, you know, other EMLEC colleagues from different parts of the world that you have not met physically. You are all in Europe, but you have not met physically. You have been, you know, doing courses online, but you haven't met physically. Second semester is a common semester where you get to meet your colleagues face to face. Teachers from the eight universities and other institutions are invited to teach at this same location that will, that will also be guest lecture. You know, in my time, we were in my, the, our common semester, we had it in, in uh, Italy. For your common semester, I need to tell you that you, you cannot choose that one. You can choose where to spend your first semester and if you're lucky to be granted you, you can choose where to spend your third semester, that too. You know, you are free to have your way to a, a good extent. So you during your second semester, you, there will be guest lectures, there will be classroom lectures, there will be us fluge excursions, there will be you know cultural events, everything that will make learning you no know, easy for you. The languages of the languages of instruction are still. German and English, don't forget. So you need these two languages before applying. It is an intensive format semester in that nine courses are offered of which you must complete at, at least six. You may do everything and you, but you, nine courses will be offered and you must pass at least six of them. So you have to have, you have to, um, pass six out of nine courses. So if you are really sure, you can decide to choose first. When you see the course titles, you can decide to choose which one you will take or not. And then you are sure you're gonna pass, then you go ahead. And if you like, you can make yourself available for all these courses. These courses are taught physically. That is, you are going to have a classroom education. Also, I was at, we were at University of Rome in Italy. So. It was a classroom setting, different from the online sessions that we have been having all the while. Except for you know this current set, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, they have to be using internet. But normally, second common semester, you are supposed to be in a location, all of you together. In addition to this, there will be cultural events. So I, for all, all these events, Tourism are not funded by the EMLEX program. Sightseeing tours, trips to museum, dinners, visits to research institutions. Like in my in my in my time, we used to go to a particular um, restaurants very close to the university, and there it's a buffet that we usually have. Then have been to we have been to uh, Venice. We have been to we have been to where again? Uh, many places. We have been to Capri, we have been to Naples, we have been to um, Capri Highland, we have been to, I mean, very nice. Um, we have been to Florence, we have been to nice places just to enjoy the weekend, then come back and home. This was when we resumed. This is how our classroom looked like. So it's different from home, it's different from online university online um, courses, because here you get to meet one another, you play, you go out together, visit places together, cultural events and all. So I encourage you, please apply, learn German very well, learn English because you are going to need them. Internships, so in between the breaks, after first semester, you have a break of uh, let's say, of let's say, three months or two months, second semester to like each semester, just like in any, just like in any other university, you have breaks. So you are expected to do an internship, at least one internship. For me, I did two because I was free, you know, you have time for yourself during the break. So you may just be like, oh, 
I don't want idle moments. Let me apply. Yeah, let me apply. And you have many opportunities. So yeah, you can apply to places like Duden. Duden dictionaries. They will they would like to host somebody like you. Pons, IDS, Porto, Galicia, European Poly, you know, Oxford University. You can just apply anywhere. You can even, you may not even choose a dictionary, you know, setting. You may go to, let's say, United Nations. You may, something some that has to do with language learning, terminology, and all. For me, so, and these internship possibilities are not only in Europe. No, you can do your own in South Africa, you can do it in USA, Canada, wherever you find nice opportunity. Some can be paid, some can be unpaid. For me, I did not find, I didn't, I, I couldn't get, um, a paid internship so i was spending my scholarship throughout what but few of us few of my classmates got you know um a paid internship it's a stipend though but it's something so for more information on inter internship positions you can just just play around the emlex website you'll find many options there for me, I did two internships, as I said. I went to Canada and also did one in Elangen, Germany. The one I did in Elangen, they work on uh, like old, old German, they, like Bayerische Deutsch, you know, Nürnberger Deutsch. It's like a dialect. So they're trying to preserve it. So can you imagine this is German? It's not like the usual Germans I speak. They are not like the everyday German. They are not Hochdeutsch. They are, you know, they are dialects, but they are preserving these languages. So they have dictionary for them. So that was where I did my first intention. After that, I went to Canada. In Canada, I worked at um, Université de Montreal, University of Montreal in Canada, in Montreal City, Canada. And there I was able to work on terminologies, dictionaries of terminologies, you know. And I worked on, uh, I think, air pollution, terms that has to do with air pollution, let's say smoke, fire, oil, you know, stuff like that. Oil is not mongo. So smoke, fire, fog, stuff like that. I worked on and I had a very, very, very nice experience. Of course, I visited this, this, this too. Third semester, mobility semester. In this, you are permitted to choose your Oh, I mean, you are permitted to choose where to um, do where to spend your third semester. For me, because I I learned of Portuguese in the university in Nigeria, and I, I graduated from Moyo, as I said earlier. And you know, you cannot graduate with only one language in the university. So I chose Portuguese as my second language. And at that time, it really looked stupid because it was like, what will you do with Portuguese and all and all? <laughs> but I'm grateful that when I came here, I had the opportunity to go to, um, to Portugal. So I chose Braga in Portugal for my third semester. So you can, but for you, you can either choose to return to your home university, in my case, France, or choose to take the semester in, in another country. During this semester, you have to submit your internship report. By this time, all the internships you have gone, either one or two or more, you are going to submit an, a report, write a report, what to learn, the duration, was it a paid internship, and stuff about everything, about your experience, write it down. If, you, if, you, if it's scientific enough, you have a good grade. For me, I had a very nice grade in my report. Mm -hmm. I did not choose, because as, as, as I said, I did two internships. You are only allowed to write in, um, report on only one. So you choose the one you enjoy. So you choose the one that you enjoy better. So you choose the one you, that you enjoyed uh, better out of the two. If you did three, you choose the one you, you enjoyed most, you know, the one you enjoy best. So you write a report on it. And then in your home university, you attend a face-to-face -face classes and lectures, and then you still continue your online studies. Online studies does not end. Like you have, you have a portal for EMLEX, your class, so you still continue doing your uh, online work. At this stage, you already know your interests, you know, among all the courses you have been doing, all the courses you have been doing since first semester, you already, my own, you already know if you like um, terminology, 
If you like translation, if you like specialized dictionary, if you like monolingual dictionary or trilingual dictionary, you know, or multi multilingual dictionary, you, should, you would have, you know, discovered some things like about your interest at this time. And so that will help you in choosing your um, dissertation topic, I mean, your project topic, it will help, it will inspire you to be able to write something meaningful. Oh, I want to work on this. I want to work on threatened language in my country. I want to make a dictionary for uh, I want to work on, I want to do a research on so, 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 so. so it would, so at that time, you will not have problem in you know, deciding what and what to write in your thesis. In this investor, a bibliographic survey for writing the dissertation can also be made. This time, it's good to start contacting your professors. I have interest in this field. Can you recommend a professor for me? It is not a must that your AMLEX professor should be the one to supervise you. He or she can you know, recommend a professor from another university from, or from the university where she works, but maybe let's say the person is not an AM, AMLEX employee. So the, your professor can recommend, oh, I like your project. I know somebody, I need a professor that will be very interested in supervising you, can recommend you. Also this semester to cultural extracurricular activities are also offered. So yeah, you travel too. So presentation, this was when I was, I think this was where I presented my, you know, internship report. I decided to write my internship report on my experience in Canada because I loved that internship better. I prefer that to the one I had in Germany. There will be, you know, you attend defense ceremony of your seniors. So you have um, celebrations together, how teams, excursions. So in my time we went to, you know, you just travel, you have a nice time. There could be an event in a nearby country, let's say dictionary day or etymology day, lexicography day, and you are invited. Even if you're not invited, just go. You, you are surely going to be invited because anything that concerns let's say, lexicography, as far as Europe is concerned, one way or the other, you get information and then you will you, be eligible to attend. So we traveled to places, we went to Spain together, that was when I learned to, you know, that I can actually edit Wikipedia myself. I had, I, we had a Wikipedia log, logging you know, guide, step-by-step -step guide on how to, you know, put things online to do, um, um, to do a graphic representation of data, write things in a nice way. You know, sometimes people think what you see on Wikipedia and all is not reliable, which is true, but you can make a difference. You can decide to start editing in a proper way to do things right. In fact, you learn a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Also in Portugal, I was able to learn uh, Portuguese more. This time, I think I was, I, 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 I attended a B1 class and I did well too. So every language, every country you attend, Erasmus to we take care of you, they will ask you if you can choose what I you can even choose more than one. Erasmus models will cover it if you are a scholarship holder. For me, I chose Portuguese as I chose Russian. So I learned A1 Russian. So you have opportunity, and this does not affect your studies. No, 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 no. It does not affect your studies then you're still enjoying yourself traveling and submitting assignments, you know, going for vacation, taking pictures and all, yet learning. The first semester, the last semester, you are expected to go back to your home university. And throughout this semester, what, you know, there'll be no online course, there'll be no, you know, site. Everything they want you to do is to concentrate on your dissertation, your thesis, your project, concentrate fully spend time with your coordinator, have meetings online or physically, you know, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, you know, and nobody will stress. You don't have to write 70 pages, 20 pages, 30 pages is okay. 40 is okay, 50 is okay. Just write what you are really interested in. Nobody will force you, you know, just follow nice guidelines. So just write something scientific, something concrete, something, you know, something worthwhile. So, and you will receive you know, guide by guide. Why you have to spend a whole semester 
on thesis because it's not, you know, it's not just a copy and paste. You just go to internet, go and paste somebody. No, 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 no. Your supervisor will, you know, you are, it's as if you are doing it together. We'll put you through and then go and write this, come back. But in, in all, everything is still enjoyable. You are going that even a whole semester is too much to write thesis. So you still have time to travel, to enjoy yourself, to to do things. Yes, lest I forget, throughout the program, you are not allowed to go to your home country. You must be in Europe from start to finish, except for internships to, let's say, outside Europe. For my case, I went to Canada. In my case, I went to Canada, and maybe so, just as such exemptions. You are not expected to, if I finish for semester, I want to go and see my money. In, no, no, it's not allowed. It's not allowed. You're only allowed to, you are, you are, you are not allowed to leave Europe until you graduate. In the last semester, you return to your um, to your host university and you write your dissertation either in German or in English or in the local language. For instance, I could choose to write in French, depending on the professor and the and the chosen research. So, if you find a German-speaking um, professor. You can can encourage yourself more because it's an encouragement. Oh, that means she will correct me. She will put me through a no. You can try to write it in German, or you stick to English, or choose any. So if you if your home university is in let's say, um, um Braga, Portugal, you can try to write it in Portuguese. All is welcome. What will you learn in your master's program? You will learn. Planning, how to plan a dictionary from conception to writing articles, because you have to plan before you start writing, because you have a, you have to see a need. Because as a lexicographer, you are solving a problem. You are not creating a problem. You must know. You must have an audience. What people need, adapting to people's needs. Corpus linguistics. You will learn that. To computational linguistics, because I want to work with computer. You're going to learn how to code. We're going to have knowledge of XML, how to make you know, um, a rep rep representation of data for online dictionary, for instance. Digital language tools, language tools, XML, also have an idea of Python and other you know, language tools that will help you. Electronic dictionaries, research on the use of dictionaries. There will be research. In fact, this is like uh, one, of the, one of the courses you are going to take research. To Terminology and terminology. Oh, no, it's the same thing. Lexicology and etymology. Etymology has to do with origin of words. How, let's say the word come, where does it emanate from? Is it from Greek, is it from? So you, you, can, you can know origin of words. You can know, you know, that um, this language, this word is firstly from and German, then Proto-German, then so, 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 so. So meta-lexicography, dictionary typology. No, the dictionary have types. We have monolingual dictionary, bilingual dictionary. We have, I don't know, types of dictionary can be classified into many ways. It can be, it can be you know, are classified according to the number of languages they deal with or according to their specialization. For specialized dictionary, you can have a dictionary of medicine, dictionary of agriculture, dictionary of mathematics, dictionary of uh, economics, and on and all. History of lexicography, bilingual dictionary, and so on and so forth. The scholarship. What does the scholarship entail? Every month, you will be handing 1,000 euros for a maximum of 24 years. That is, Erasmus Models will not sponsor you after, we no longer sponsor you after 24 months. You have to, if let's say you, 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 you are not smart with your thesis and you have to prolong things for, but normally for two years is, is um, too much. Most of us, we finished our masters in let's say one year and nine months one year and eight months. So you don't have to, I, it is, it's very rare to find someone that will exit. I know somebody or let me say some person that exited 12, 24 months, they could say it's not their fault, but normally the programs give you room for many things to travel, to enjoy yourself. So maximum of 24 months, Erasmus Mundus, we 
you know, sponsor you, give you a stipend of like, you see, a stipend of 1,000 euro per month. Aside that, there will be installation cost. Let's say the first time you arrived in France, for instance, there will be installation in your own country for there will be installation cost of let's say I think 1,000. And then every semester when you are moving from place to place to place to place, there will be installation cost of 1,500 for you. In my case, when I arrived Italy, they sent me this. When I arrived Portugal again, they sent so as you are installing yourself in each of these countries, you are going to, for, I mean, each semester or first semester, you'll be getting 1,500, 1, apart from your monthly stipend, apart from your monthly stipend. So in total, you'll get 6,000 in four installments, 1,500 every month, no, every semester, four times. So you get installation costs once. Other costs, let's say for you know for health insurance, enrollment. Like as you are enrolling in a, in, in a new university, you don't have anything to worry about. They will pay your school fees for you, enrollment fee for the registration. Anything they will take care of everything for you. You just be receiving your emails from let's say the admission office. Come and get this, this. Come and get your certificate. Come and get. That you did not pay. Others are paying. Others are, you know, applying from Nigeria, putting money in, let's say, block account, paying, paying heavily for things. You will not pay. They just be writing emails to you. This is ready. Your ID card is ready. This and that. In fact, I got my own ID card. I think second day, I, oh, like my second, was it the first time? I, okay, I think my second day in the university, I got my university ID card. So all that they will take care of this for you, all the costs, all the costs, they will take care of it for you and you'll be getting 1,000 per month. And you also get um, installation cost fee. So requisite to apply, all your um, credentials must be provided before resumption. For instance, if you're still an undergraduate or your diploma is not ready and you still want to apply, you are welcome. Just promise them that you will see that on the website is written that your certificates, your credentials must be ready. The remaining ones must be ready before resumption. Because you know, the, your host university will need this certificate for your enrollment. The application can be made before graduation. My first time of applying for this program was when I was in my final year. My certificates were not ready. And then I, I had not written to FL, but I, I, but I just liked it. I was like, I want to know how this thing feels. So. I, I, I applied. It was not successful the first time for obvious reasons. My credentials were not complete and maybe I was not fully ready or there were higher people because even when I resumed and I met people that were lucky that year, the first year I applied, I know that these people are, you know, I know two of them had done, are doing second masters. They had done a master's program before and then coming again for a second master's. Can you imagine? So you meet people that have done second that have that have done a master's program before that are now doing second masters you will meet people in my class we have someone that's of that's well over 50 years well over 50 years old so in my class so you will meet people that you know have high qualification but that should not be a discouragement if you are still undergraduate you can still apply it is an experience so are you you may be lucky because from the look of things they are really ready to welcome applications this year. So, in any of the areas, you can. So, if you are students um, in the Faculty of Arts, Humanities, Linguistics, Foreign Languages, Translation, Computational Linguistics, Communication, Media Studies, anything related to lexicography, the translation, you are welcome. If you do something like informatics, let's say computer science, you are welcome. If you did something like um, you know, because, you know, I talked about specialized dictionary the other time, and we need people that are in this field. Don't say, oh, I studied law, I studied Yoruba. I st we need people that have competence in specialized fields. You understand? We need people that have come in specialized field too. Just prepare your document and go and learn German and English. And because German and English, 
will be required because that is the languages, those are the languages of instruction when you resume. So don't limit yourself. Oh, I, I'm not, I'm not a German student. I did not study BA German. I did not, no, 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 no. Don't limit yourself. So it's a it's a master program that's quite rich, you know. So level B2 in at least of this one. So you can have B1 in English, B2 in German, or B1 in, or B2 in English and B1 in German, B2 in either or both of them. The minimum, you know, um, le level for one for either of them must be B1. So you can't submit with A2, for instance. So you have to learn your, and your, and your proficiency in both languages of at least B1 must be confirmed by means of a certificate. This certificate must not be older than two years. Let's say you, the last time you wrote B2 is 2016. Of 2000, it, it is no longer valid. You may need to go and write another one. So for English test, the certificate accepted are ONSET, IELTS, Trinity, TOEFL, IBTC, Cambridge. I wrote TOEFL, IBTC. It's computer based. I think IELTS is a paper and pencil. So German. So you need German to ONSET, organized German, go to institute, or as date certificate be test staff, you can, you know, just go to these places and don't say, oh, I will get um, to whom it may concern from my university that I speak German. Mm -hmm. It is not advisable. You know, as I said earlier, this is scholarship and you will see competition. So any skill you say you can, and any, any skill you say you have, please certify them concretely. So more information, you will find them here. So I will want you guys to check this website out. Here, let's fill information for students that is requirement on how to apply. For if you are in Brazil right now, in Sao Paulo, the onset is applied free of charge by DRD, both in English and in German. For my Brazilian practice, participants to take prices of that. Other requirements, you're going to write motivation letter. What motivates you? You can see, you know, prototypes on the internet or how to write a motivation letter. What motivates you? You can even mention that you developed interest after listening to me, you can write my name. I remember I submitted an application too, that, so I, that, and I put it there that the first time I heard about it was my job and that made them to reply me in a very nice way. So let them know that you know what you are talking about. You are not, you know, what, what motivates you? Apart from that, talk about, you know, what motivates you? What problem would you like to solve? Let's say in your own local language. Do you have, have you seen a good Yoruba dictionary? A Igbo dictionary, a Hausa dictionary? You want to develop that. You want to, and even our dialects, are they well taken care of? Are people proud to speak them? Do we have reference materials for them? So give them your reasons. Why should they consider you? Your language, maybe your own language of your language, maybe one of the threatened languages. So you can just apply. So tell them, give them reasons. Send them certified document translation for people, for um, participants that are not here, that are not in Nigeria right now, maybe that joining me from Brazil, from Canada, from, from you know, other parts of the world, you may have to translate your document if they are not issued in English and German. So that's, that's basically that. Opportunities after this master's program, you can work in publishing houses as an editor, a dictionary editor, when you open a dictionary, you will see list of names. Let's say you see Samuel Johnson, you see many, many names. So you can work as one of them, editing and creating dictionary. You can create, you can start a dictionary for, let's say your own language is one of the threatened languages of Africa. You can, you know, start something, start small. As a graduate, you can work in research institutes. 
can be an academic. You can work as a professor, professor of linguistics, professor of African lexicography, professor of this. You can work as a teacher, you can work as a translator. You can work as a, an interpreter, conference interpreter. You can work as, you know, works related to um, linguistic and foreign languages, translation, optimization of linguistic tools. You can even, you know, you can adapt this knowledge to many areas, many areas, document review, you know, helping people to, you know, work on their document. You know, these days, many organizations, they have websites and then they want people, visitors to be able to read the content in many languages. You can correct some things for them because not every google translate will not do everything for you let's say you are working on there's a, a company an energy company and they put let's say energy and then they want people to read this in chinese they just copy things from google translate and put it on their website it is dangerous because google translate can trans can translate energy as fire has has um, can can give many many you know suggestions for it which will not help their business you can be an expert in that field that you put things in order what register fit what so you you are opportunities you have are very 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 yes you can also work in ministry, ministries of foreign affairs you know representing countries because you are exposed you have traveled enough already you know you know, you, you, you have been exposed to many cultures, so you know what it means, you know, to intervene, to be, to have cultural encounters with different nations. So why should you choose this course? You will take classes with teachers from around the world who are experts in the subject. You will study at great universities with great libraries. This library is very, very wonderful. The library, um, no, just in many countries you are going to, you, they are nice, they are the high rating universities. You will also network with people from all over the world. I have um, Russian uh, classmates, I have Brazilian classmates. You know, even your home, home university, your host university will still meet many more people because you are going to take classes with other people apart from EMLEC students. You will live in at least two different countries and you will and you can live in a third for me i lived in a third i lived in uh, portugal you will improve your german and english you know i said i lived in germany i did an internship in germany so i was able to speak my put my german into use you will learn other languages too living in portugal i was able to learn more portuguese i was able to take a1 course in Russian too. If you are if you are if you are in Poland, you will learn Polish. If you are in Italy, we learned Italian too when we arrived in Italy. If you are in Budapest, Hungary, you will learn Hungarian, you know, just on and on like that. With a scholarship, you will be able to concentrate fully. I tell you, when you get here, you you will see many African students working from, you know. They will do student job, they will go here and go here. But for you, you don't need to think too much before you buy your flight tickets. You don't need to think too much before you travel to enjoy yourself, to go to a very nice restaurant. You don't need to think too much. You will come. So because you are having a good life, you also be able to concentrate fully and study. So I thank you so very much for your attention. I want you to follow us on social media. I will put the links, the social media links for you so and then if you have questions contact me please um precise you know relevant questions <clears throat> so thank you so much i'll put the um these links on the chat you can follow on instagram on facebook and also the general website so <sighs> Thank you. Please don't log out yet. I want to share the links with you. So, so, so. I will be with you. I'm looking for the links. Um, so as I'm looking for that, I think I can move to. I want to, I want to welcome questions before we call it today. Questions?
Yes. We, oh, we are muted. Sorry. Ask all to mute. Okay. Joseph Omar Megbe, you can please speak. So you can unmute yourself. The noise was too much. I had to disconnect it again. So unmute yourself. Good day. Oh, hello. Who am I speaking? Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I do. I joined the seminar late. I wouldn't know if it's possible to have a, the recorded version of this training because I would like to have uh, a full take of your of your seminar so that we know where uh, to ask questions uh, as I will be needing some clarifications. Okay. Okay. Hello. I heard you. I, right, okay. I will try to work on that. All right, okay. So I shared a Google Docs. Can you fill it in? Your name, your university, your qualification and all. So next right. question. Um, 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 who else has a question? Hello, it's nice to see oh, you all. Me? Oh my God, I feel so happy. Oh. Thank you, thank you, God bless. Because oh. I need your names because you are quite many. Oh, what? Don't know. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, I want to know, did you record the presentation? Yes. I'm sorry, I have to okay. wear my mask. Okay, because there's something for I mean, there's some. No, it's better you remove your mask because you are alone there, so no problem. It's compulsory. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, but you are online anyway. Okay, so, so I can even see your cheek. <laughs> okay, well, I want to be sure, I want to be sure you. Can you hear me? I, I lost you for a bit. Can you can please repeat your last assessment? Sir? Okay, I, I wish to know if you recorded the presentation and I want you to send it to us. Oh. Can you hear me now? All right, sir. I'll, okay. I want to have the names of the participants at, from, um, from... Can I send it from Langley, please? Yes, sir. Okay, can I send it to your WhatsApp? Okay, sir. All right, no problem. Okay, any other question, please? Anybody? And others? Yeah. I have a question. Um, quickly, please. Uh, for others that are not connecting from language place, kindly um, fill in the form I just shared, the Google Docs. Sorry, I have to wear my mask. So the Google Docs form, yeah. Okay, oh, okay, because you are okay. I think I understand. So kindly fill it in. I would want so you're to. You are in the library. <laughs> Oh, kindly fill the form in, please. I want to know you, your university, your course of study, okay. or the diploma okay. you are anticip anticipating. Kindly open the chat, you will see the link I shared with you. Okay. So on Facebook, this one. This one. Yes, yes. As you click it. On Facebook, check European Master in Lexicography, EMLEX, European Master in Lexicography. So the next question, please. Hello. Yeah. Yes. What's your name? Yeah, I'm Kola Mabani. Kola Odinsi. Can you see my name? Yes, I can. Thank you. Yeah, I asked a question in the chat forum. I wanted to ask that this um, the deadline for this application is March. Yes. And 
And looking at some of my qualifications, like I don't even know Jack. Um, maybe the only thing I know in Germany is good, <laughs> good team again or whatever they call that thing. <laughs> So why am I saying it that so that I can have enough time to afford me enough time to prepare? When next can we have um, a deadline to apply if we're going to miss another, this? Okay, March. another opening. Another opening. We open this year towards the end of this year. Okay. So the okay. intake, you know, so the, this the, this current deadline is for people that are resuming this year, this okay. uh, winter. So now that we we'll open towards that period, that will welcome others for that will resume next, year. next year. Yes. Okay. Do you get it? So I do. But don't be discouraged, please. You can yeah. save the link somewhere and. Yeah. Right. My last, my second question is this. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yeah. My second question is this. I just you've said it. I just want. Um, I don't know. I just want to satisfy my curiosity. Um, you said um, people from individuals from other disciplines can apply. Yeah. So, like for someone like me, I studied law in the university, Ooh. and then so I really, I, I, I really have interest in stuff like this. And then I like to, you know, um, afford myself of this kind of opportunity to develop, you know. Not saying something that is quite different from okay. the regular. So I don't know if we'll be accepted. I think you said it, but I just want to hear it. I'm not using video, sir. I'm yeah. not using video. Yes, yes. Yes, we need let's say, a dictionary that talks about our criminal law, judicial law, and all. So we need people like you. All right. Just you know, give them reasons in your motivation letter. Letter. And also your thesis for your bachelor too. We also count what you work on. You said sorry, please. I didn't get that. For your first degree, what was your project topic about? Okay, okay, okay. Tell me, I want to know. Okay, okay. I worked on um contracts in oil and gas, oil and gas contracting. And then this is called oil and gas contracts in Nigeria. Okay, your area of interest could be that uh, you discover that while working, they don't have, you know, dependable register, dictionary, you know, even as a lawyer, you need a good reference material to be able to intervene in some cases to know how some words are pronounced, what they do. So, the problems you noticed when even while I was writing my project and even because I've graduated and I'm presently working and then where I'm, where I'm working doesn't have to do with um, energy law energy law so so I can also talk about everything based on my experience and the project topic university as well yes so what the discoveries yes. you made during that time you can put yes. in your motivation yeah. your project title yes. and then just yeah. link it up. Yes. It's let everything yes. look lexicographic and you are good to go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. No problem. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. More questions. More questions. Please fill in the form that I sent to you, the Google Docs. I want to have record of everyone that participated. It's for it's for um, it's for your good, it's for my good. Please. I really want my people like Africans, Nigerians to be lucky like this time, this time. Because even after me, I think it was only black person I found again, and she's from Cameroon. Others are from Russia and all of and this is it is not you just have to have information and that's all and then apply no question yes who is that uh, who is raising a day? okay good afternoon okay. uh thanks so much for this enlightenment please my question goes though for someone that is from i graduated from government of dentistry I'm a dentist. 
So it's not something that relates to arts, humanities. Can I still apply for, for this? Can I still go into that? Well, so that is so yet to push I want to know. I also want to be cool. I also want to be curious, as my sister was curious. <laughs> okay. For for that, I would share. I'm trying to share something with you guys now. I will share screen again. Please, everyone, pay attention. I'm trying to share my screen again. Dentistry, you, it's welcome, or maybe your chance may be, you know, your chance may be kind of slim. But I want to show you something. Can you see my screen? Yes, yes, so I can. This is yes, I can. Erasmus Mundus catalog, E A C E A. Let's go, please. So you are welcome, but maybe your chances, let's say they have 500 applications and many of them have, let's say, B2 German. I don't, you can also learn these languages, French and no, German and English to, to be able to qualify but i'm just trying to i'm just trying to be prudent by giving you you know uh, options and besides these things does not bite you know you can apply to up to three programs it is allowed do you understand okay you can, you can yes yes I we are now on the erasmus modus portal and these are the number of courses they sponsor see they are very 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 many can you see so you can look yes, yes. for one that you know you can look for like three or you can apply for up to three see european master in law and economics for law people this is the this is my own program yes. can you see my um can you see my mouse yes yes see this is the one i'm in talking legs. about yes, am legs Okay, okay. So, okay. so you can see many, yeah. many, 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 many. So I did this and I'm giving you this, um, you know, symposium based on the experience I have and also what I discovered, what I think people don't know when it comes to applications. You know, maybe you have never visited these sites. So if you come here, you can see- I have never visited this site. You can see nice things. Let me talk, let's try and look for this is talking about computational computational modeling, tourism development and cultural imagine scholarship for this type of course. <laughs> so just just get adequate information and as you're applying for EMLEX, you look for dentistry to or another one that's you know or anything related to you. public health. Yeah, public health that suits you, yeah. Neuroscience, this is neuroscience, nuclear physics, follow, da, 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 toys and language. Imagine for people who speak some French, you can do this plant mm. health, sustainable. Da, da, da. So I will send the link to this to, in the group chat too. Okay, okay. But please and please don't fuck. So this is how it goes. When you come to this portal, just scroll down and see the portal apply. So you open the portal and see for agricultural people, for people in agri, for people in urban and regional studies or what they call urban studies. So aquaculture, landscape, archaeology, material science, health management. So archaeology, chemistry, so precision in medicine. See, so I think here you can talk about your specialization, which is dentistry. So that's that about that. The site is. Oh, oh my God. Oh, dear. Okay. I wish. Oh, the form is view only. What do I do? Oh, oh God. Yes, or oh, infinite notes, you have more questions? So check the charts and see the links I shared with you. So I'm trying to take a look at the link again to know what is wrong. Come, come.
So, let's when they call us. So, who else has questions? What do I do to get this? Um, yeah, can you hear us? Yes. Okay, ask your question. Okay, my question is this program will be subsequent to other years. You said it's going to close March 1st for this year. So I'm asking if it's going to still be available next year and how you continue. Yes, it should be, but I cannot promise. Some so cause cause I open the Google Docs. Da, 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 da. It is, but I it normally it should be, but because yes. sometimes when Erasmus Moody sponsored program, they look at some courses that are not getting enough attention. It's a language now. Languages of the world are getting threatened. You know. Well, yes, we may have, let's say, seven you know, major languages of the world, but every language is important. You agree with me? So that's why they are funding it, funding it, bring people from all around the world to work on their language or any language they want to work on. So it's just, but if it's going to stop soon, I don't think so. But from what I, I was, I used to be a member of the promotion committee of my program. And our coordinator, you know, what I learned, I pro, we submit proposal to Erasmus Mundus. We want to sponsor this program again the following year. Please give us funding. And so different courses like that will submit proposals. And you know, it is the Erasmus Modus body, the selection committee that will you know, grant or deny them. But from the look of things, Erasmus Modus will continue to get sponsorship. But yeah, I don't know for how long and how far. For other courses, yeah, okay. there are some programs that this funding stopped in 2012, 20 because no money. So, so you can. It's yes and no. It's okay. Really, it might not. It may. It might. It might not. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Any other question? I think we are fine. Um, is there no scholarship like to the English instead of this job? There are some questions that are answered. Okay. 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 okay, I think on our side we are fine. Okay. Can we give her a round of applause? I'm trying to. Thank you so much. I will want you to. I'm feeling this form. Um, excuse me, can we fill in the form after this meeting? I really don't know. I'm trying to connect to the form right now, but it gets me because of the Zoom meeting. Okay. okay, the information on it is that uh, you should write. Okay, if you participated today, please write. Indicate to me, indicate on the on my I write my Gmail address now. Please. I don't know why this Google Docs is not working. I it's my first time of creating okay. a Google Doc. I think that's why. So but you can just put it at the show T D as gmail.com. Your school. Please a short and meaningful text. Your school name, the so university. I want to be the that you, and then okay, the qualification. That's all. It's on the chat at the TD at gmail.com. So thank you so much for your time. And if you like this to be organized twice today and then also on the seventh of this month on Sunday by 2 p.m. again. So if you like, you can attend again. It's like just what I, you know, just how uh, discuss with you guys that I'm going to repeat for those that are unable to. Okay. <laughs> To your in Gmail, full name, qualification, and school attended. Yeah, your your uh, yeah qualification, your school. Yeah, M A B A something something something. Right. So, uh, somebody is trying to help me out, trying to send a good good doc to me so that you can edit it. I'm sorry, you can just please be patient. I'm so so grateful to Square Language Place. Thank you so so very much for this. I hope. Uh, 
and lucky winners of Erasmus Mundus Scholarship will come from that school this year, next year, and even uh, continually. Thank you. Mr. Peter, thank you. Abel Chai. Okay, so we want to say, we just want to say thank you. We appreciate it so much. Okay. Thank you for, for not uh, forgetting the root resource. Thank you, sir. And uh, in case we have uh, questions, so we definitely get back to you. Okay, please. I'm trying to. Appreciate you. I will say bye bye. God bless you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Sure I need the attendance, please. Okay, thank you. Okay. So, uh, well, we will write it here and send it to you. Okay. Or you prefer we feed it online? Um. Yes. Some. I. I just got a new link now, and I want to share with you. Okay. We will fill it through the Google link. Okay. Yes. Is that okay? Okay, sir. We'll do it immediately now. Just okay, once we are off, I will do it. What's the job? How do you think that we have anybody spending? And you can just make your own list and somebody share it with me on WhatsApp or email. Or by email. Thank you. That's all right. Okay, I think we have it here. We have this. So, stop bye bye. Thank you, sir. Bye. Yeah. Okay, that's what I do. Bye. Bye. Thank you. You can push and push. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'm grateful. Thank you all for participating. Bye bye. Okay. Now you can still spend some time together before, if you like. My violin teacher, Lawale, and oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Adiola, thank you. Ayoniji. Ayoni Ganiu, thank you. Uh, Ibel Charity, I love your name. Hello. Mukala Odunsi, thank you. Joseph Oma Migbe, thank you. Who is black? Adito is a tenant talk well. How many connections do you have? Adito is a tenant talk well. Would I be? <laughs> 